Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. All right, there's some weird stuff going on with these two and I want to talk about it. Yes, we've talked a lot about the name of it all. People are completely outraged by it. But once again, instead of addressing critics head on, they're doing something weird. Let's let's get into this. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Jen. Honk, honk, everyone. I honk because a Megan follower told me I sound like a drunk goose. I get asked this question a lot, so I try to answer at the beginning of the video. But thanks so much for being here. I, 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 yeah, that, lots going on. Let's talk about it. So I'm assuming you know, but in case you don't, everybody's been in, a, in an outrage, rightly so, about these two and the name they gave their daughter. Okay, we've been through this. I've put out so many videos now talking about this. So many YouTubers are talking about this. This has been a topic that's been brought back to life. I'm excited that people are talking about it, frankly. It's just another way to show what these two are capable capable of and what they're up to behind the scenes. Okay, so we've been there. Today, I want to talk about how they're being weird through the media again. Uh, weird is an understatement. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. When you do a quick search of Harry and Meghan news, this is what you get. It's all about this name thing. And I got to say again, I'm loving it. Da, 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 da. No, I'm loving it because <laughs> where's Jay when I need him to sing songs like that? Um, I'm loving it because again, people that have been slow to see what these two are capable of and what they're up to behind the scenes, they can finally see it. It's in clear... I mean, it's just clear. It's right in front of us. Like, look, this is awful what they did. They took that name. You know, they were not giving permission is what's being alleged. And they're, you know, anyway, it's just them being them. And I'm glad that people are talking about it. I'm glad that it's something that they're not able to spin into a race thing, um, which is Megan and her followers favorite thing to do. It's just a way to show no, no, just straight up. Harry and Meghan are a-holes. That's a terrible thing that they did taking that name. But again, if you search right now, that's what is dominating the headlines. Everybody's talking about it, except for one outlet. Let me show what I'm talking about. People Magazine. I won't click the link. I won't give them the click, but I'll just tell you what's happening. So this is, in my opinion, the go-to of this one. <laughs> So what I mean is she likes to, in my opinion, leak, it appears that she's leaking stories to people. Anytime there's negative press about them, people will run an article that's completely, usually the contrary. So to me, it screams of either Harry and Meghan or their people putting out contrary information to try to win over the public or sympathy or whatever the hell they're trying to do. But now it all has to do with these damn chickens. Who cares about chickens? But apparently they do. That's all they have left. They've put out this article. It just it just strikes me funny. Again, you can see the difference. Everybody's talking about this, how awful they are with this name thing. And People is running an article about how they adopted a chicken that used to belong to Ellen DeGeneres. Which, P.S., by the way, how bad do things have to be for you if that's what you're clinging to? Ellen DeGeneres, right? Publicly uh, outed as being, <laughs> sounds sounds like she's been awful to her employees. And uh, Megan's been accused of many of the same things. And I find that funny that that's who she's choosing to cling on to. But my point to all this is this. So here we are again. And we knew this story about this name. A lot of people are just now realizing this story about this name and how awful they are. And yet again, no public acknowledgement of their awfulness, no statements, no nothing. Not that they can make it any better at all. They just end up making it worse. But I'm saying this is where they choose to focus. Instead, it's, look over here. We adopted Ellen's chickens. They're now clinging on to this so hard that they are talking more, they're being more vocal about the chickens than they are about their kids. I find that so funny that they think putting out something like that will distract everybody and make people think differently of them. It just, it's not working. And it's, again, it's fun to watch. And normally I wouldn't delight in something like this, but they brought it on themselves at every turn. They've been horrible people. And uh, it's kind of fun to watch. 
But I want to show you this. They make a point, again, to throw around Ellen's name, but also to put the word bullied in there. Why would they do that? I'll tell you why. To change the algorithm. So that way, if you search Meghan Markle bully or bullied or bullying, it's more likely that this latest story comes up. Look, they adopted a bullied chicken. Is this a new story? No, it is not. But in their mind, it is because, again, it keeps their name out there. <laughs> it ties them to another celebrity, their favorite thing to do. And uh, again, it ties them to the word bullied. So that way they can hope to bury any actual, you know, even this, uh, you know, bullying the queen about this name type thing. To me, it's just, this is just all part of the bigger picture. Like, oh crap, we got to do something. And just a reminder, not that anybody's forgotten, they still never spoke out about Endgame. So they're perfectly happy to let those horrible things said about the royal family stand with no correction, no... Even attempted explanation, nothing. And yet, <laughs> here it's about themselves and this name. And so they're like, oh, crap, we better do something. So they put out this story about Ellen DeGeneres and the bullied chicken. You truly can't make this stuff up. Because, again, think about what Ellen DeGeneres has been accused of very vocally, very much by many people, uh, former staff members especially. And then think of what Meghan Markle has been accused of. Harry, too, actually. But I think it's mostly Meghan uh, that's been accused of the same type bullying behavior. So, uh, again, I say release those bullying reports. I hope that's what Lady C is referring to with the big bombshell in the spring. I keep hearing rumblings that it does have to do with that. Fingers crossed. And if that is the case, then this all makes so much more sense, doesn't it? Of course she's talking about bullied and bullying. Because she wants the search to bring up this fluffy nonsense PR stuff rather than what's actually going on or what could be going on. Like, are the bullying reports coming out? Are we getting more information on that? I know I'm just speculating, but I'm saying it all kind of makes sense to me. You know, the ones I feel sorry for in this scenario, of course, Her Majesty the Late Queen, always love her, you know, um... I'm really, I keep thinking about, I'm always Team Catherine, always, always, you know that. She's my favorite. <laughs> no secret there. But um, I'm feeling for William. I keep thinking about Prince William and having to deal with these two, the things that he's had to deal with, especially with his brother here and um, his brother's wife coming after his own wife, um, and then taking a family name like that and using it. I take offense to using Diana in the name. I know it's his mother, so he could. I guess there's, I mean, you could name your kid whatever you want. But I think it's just wrong that he keeps doing this to William. I think, I just keep thinking about that. It's it's just, it's got to be a gut punch over and over when stories like this come up. But hopefully William's feeling good <laughs> that uh, people, more and more people are, are continuing to see through their tricks. But uh, I just, my heart goes out to William right now. I just wanted to put that out there. He's been on my mind. I know that sounds weird. I'm usually thinking about Catherine, Princess of Wales, but right now I'm thinking about William. And I mean, just this whole situation's awful. I do see the comments saying, you know, when William's in charge, things will get done. And I, I can only hope that that's the case. I agree that William will always protect his family, his wife, you know. So hopefully things can be done, but... He needs to be done sooner than that. What are we doing? Why do they have titles? They accuse the whole family of all these horrible things. And then they're like in the same breath. Oh, but we named our daughter after the head of the family. And then, oh, oh, but also uh, the media said these things. We didn't say these things. Like they can't keep their story straight. We've been through it. It's just, it's so ridiculous at this point. And it tells me everything I need to know about the sugars. And I always get comments, who are the sugars? You know, the people that blindly follow Megan. I don't know why they're called that. I've heard a million different reasons. It really doesn't matter. It's just the group of rabid fans that follow Megan. And I just ask how, after even this, how? <laughs> how could anybody follow either of these two? I don't understand it. And I, I have to say, like, he's just as bad, if not worse than her. It's his family in this case. I mean, she's been horrible to her own family, but I'm saying it's this, it's his family in this case. And he's just going right along with it. He helped name that kid. So I just, 
Oh, I'm just completely sickened by the whole thing. And I see it from you guys, too. You guys have left the best comments. Thank you for that saying. I hear it in your voice. You sound sad. I'm not sad. I'm actually happy that this is all coming back up. You know, again, the, most of us already knew it, but the ones, some people are just catching on. So this is a great thing to show them. Yes, this is the type of stuff that Harry Meghan pull. This Friday is that living legend thing I can't even get through without laughing. I've seen more and more reports. This just seems to be something possibly allegedly put on by WME. Not officially, but if you look at all the people, not all the people, but a lot of the people that are being named as being there are represented by WME. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is this whole thing just to try to get them positive publicity? But I'm also seeing rumblings that things are so bad right now in the coverage and, and discussion of Harry and Meghan. And they're so unliked, rightly so, from all that they've done. Couldn't have, I mean, again, they brought it on themselves. But because of that, now there's question if they'll even show up. So this is where I want you to comment. Let's make predictions right now. Are they showing up? I've, I've kicked this around. And normally, I, my answer is always, she would never miss anything. She shows up to everything. She shows up to a ribbon cutting where she's not doing the ribbon cutting. You know what I mean? Like, she's there. But then this one, I don't know, this week has hit differently. People are truly outraged and I'm here for it. And um, and it makes me wonder. So I almost wonder, not that she would ever miss the chance. I mean, she's, you know, Captain Grab a Mic, right? So I don't think she'd miss out on any opportunity. But then I think, huh, it is more of a chance to play victim if she just stayed back and sent Harry. But I just... I don't think she has it in her to do that. I don't. I don't think she'd be able to stand the opportunity to put on a horrible beige gown that doesn't fit right and prance out and plaster on smiles and claw onto Harry and lead him around, right? <laughs> Shove him in whatever direction she wants him to go. So I just, I can't imagine her missing it. But I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Tell me if you think they'll turn up and uh, and what's going on there. I look forward to your comments. Guys, that's it for me. Uh, funny side note, I did ask Jay. Jay, do you have any thoughts on this whole stupid chicken thing? Do you know what his comment was? <laughs> this is why I keep him around. He said, that's why she prefers Meg. It's got egg in it. I'm like, oh my God, the dad jokes. But uh, no, too funny. Uh, guys, uh, speaking of Jay, he does have his Die Hard video up on Dr. Bad Vibes Speak. So check that out. But uh, thank you guys so much for being here, for supporting the channel. You know how much it means to me. I can't wait to read your comments on this one, your thoughts. We will move on from this name story. Frankly, I'm over talking about it too, but I do think it's good that we go through and hash out things like this because we can't let them get away with it. We got to remind everybody, right? Oh, worst people ever. Guys, thanks for everything. Uh, if you want to further support the show, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where you can become an executive producer like the lovely geese and ganders you see on the screen right here. I truly hope you guys have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>